And thanks for staying with us. Members of the Trade Union Congress this morning gathered at Kwong here in the Greater Kwa region to protest the dismissal of three workers at Sudan Asogli Pa. They are asking for the reinstatement of the site workers whose contracts were allegedly terminated on the basis that they joined the Ghana Mine Workers Union. Now, speaking at an emergency national executive council meeting of the Mine Workers Union yesterday, Secretary General of the TUC, Dr. Yaoba said even the president of Ghana cannot stop workers from joining any trade union, which is a fundamental human right enshrined in the 1992 constitution, whilst urging members to join in the protest. We'll speak with our correspondent who has been covering those protests, but I want you to first listen to Dr. Yaoba. Our demand is very, very, very simple. Our three brothers should be reinstated now. They have done nothing wrong. They only wanted to exercise their right as Ghanaians under the constitution and our labor laws. So let me, on behalf of the executive committee of TUC, thank the union leaders, the Ghana Marokkans union leaders, and to thank you for the solidarity we are showing to our brothers. Look, there have been many cases. TUC has been around for 75 years plus. I have been in the union for nearly 30 years now. We should not allow this to happen. Yes. No. No, it's as simple as that. And that's what I'm saying. Hey, 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 hey. We should never allow this to happen. That some people want to join the union or they want to form a union and they, are, they lose their jobs. In Ghana, after how many years of independence? That should never be allowed. And we are not going to allow that. Even the president of Ghana can never stop us from forming or joining a union. We can never allow that to happen in our country. Let alone somebody coming from somewhere to determine what we should do in our country. Look, they pride themselves that this is uh, one of the biggest investments from China in West Africa. I don't remember the figure. They say $750 million. $750 million cannot buy our rights. Our rights are non-negotiable. Yes. Our rights are priceless. Yes. And that is what we are going to show from tomorrow. I know you want to take action today. <laughs> Pensioners are picketing a second day asking for payment of their matured coupons and principals. Yesterday, convener for the individual bondholders from Senior Horsey revealed that the technical committee has completed a new payment schedule with government. Mr. Horsey says the plan will allow government to settle all bond areas by end of this month. We've been getting reaction to this uh, from convener of the Pensioner Bondholders Forum, uh, Dr. Edwana Entry. Take a listen. We are demanding our payment as government uh, as promised pay the bond agreement so we want all our coupons and mature uh, principal to be paid to us now before we leave this place that's all we don't have any arrangement with government if government is arranging with the other uh, bondholders they have every right to do that but it's not for uh, the pensioner bondholders we are as an exempted group and we are taking our money, we are demanding our money to be paid to us as and when they are due. The old ones, we, are, we gave government 28 to pay. We gave April 28 to pay and government didn't pay and we are here. And we will only leave here when all payments have been done. That's all. So we, we don't care about whatever they have agreed. That's their own. You, you were part of the initial start of that committee and then you pulled out. Uh, now someone would say that things, it looks like things are working well for the other groups. Is it something you regret pulling out? It's not working well. For No, nothing is working well for anybody. We say we are demanding, we are not begging. We are demanding that our payments to be made. We are not interested in sitting down and planning with anybody. We are demanding. 
at least if this arrangement goes through, all the arrests will be cleared by uh, uh, May 31. We are waiting for the arrests to be cleared now, not May 31. If the arrests are not cleared, we will still be here. And we will be here until the arrest is cleared. We don't care who is saying something. All that we are saying is that for us, we are demanding immediate payment. And until that is done, we will keep on coming here. If it takes one year for the arrears to be paid, we will be here one year. That's all. So you are not bothered at all that, well, they said they have reached I a payment. I, I don't want to be even be thinking about that. They are not negotiating for us. We, so people don't understand, still don't understand the difference between issuer exemption and self-exemption. I told you that for the self-exemption, you may probably go and be begging. Self-exempt. You will be begging. Yes, and that is what happened. We are not begging. We are demanding that you pay us. We were exempted and we don't have to be begging. We are not part of the begging, do this, do this. We are saying pay us and you must pay. We know, we've heard that government have done some of the payment already. Has any of your members confirmed that they have received payment? Yes, we confirmed that uh, payment for, uh, I think, the early March 1, 6, and uh, I think 2nd March have started uh, trickling in. And people have confirmed that they are receiving even the 13th or so. We, we don't have the, but some people have places on the platform that they have received their 13th. One so uh, let's 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 hope that is okay and government is and, and if government has started fine, it should continue to pay and until all arrears are paid, we will come here every day. So you are hopeful now that as they have started, they will continue uh, in that tangent. Well, they started previously and they don't continue. That is why your paying one will not take us from here. Pay if you pay one or two, and uh, you think because we have started paying, we will leave here. We are not going to leave. We are not going to leave until all payment, all outstanding payments are made. When between yesterday and today, as we speak, have you had any contact from any government? No, 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 no contact. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, James Aveji there speaking with uh, Dr. Edwin Ani, entry convener of the Pensioner Bondholders Forum. We want to take you back to our earlier story on the protest this morning at Sunon Asogli Pa, uh, where uh, the Trade Union Congress is asking for the reinstatement of three workers who were dismissed for uh, allegedly joining the Ghana Mine Workers Union. Apparently, the company is against unionization. That is the claim. And they are protesting that. Join us on phone, uh, Tema correspondent Kwame Anka, who has been witnessing the protest. Tell us what has been happening um, at Sunona Sogli today, Kwame. The uh, protest started at the phone Methodist, then with the, uh, in the company of the police, uh, much told the power producer to make their um, demands known. But then along the way, where with the argument to the police, they have to be um, stopped, and then where they address the media, um, saying that they will keep pushing until these um, three union leaders are uh, reinstated, like you said earlier. But if you take them um, to even march to the Jubilee House, they will do that to ensure that um, government does the need for Because according to them, um, the em employment minister had um, in his own um, and met with leadership of Sunan Asogli, but the company, as it were, isn't yielding. So um, they will ensure, as a, as a TUC, they will ensure that they will do whatever it takes them, um, mem members and leadership of the, the union, to ensure that these three workers are reinstated. And it's also drum home that um, nobody comes um, into the country, regardless of your investment um, portfolio, to just, um, as it were, um, take the rights of um, Ghanaians for granted, no matter how much you are investing in the country, you cannot buy the, the lives of Ghanaians um, very well. Were there any um, officials or managers of Sunan Asogli at the protest? Did you see them around? Um, I would say no in this case. So a few meters to the premises of the company, um, these um, protesters were stopped. Um, with a police barrier which had been mounted uh, with armed policemen um, behind it and all over, ensuring that the protesters um, you know, played to the rules of engagement. 
to write the, the leadership of the um, Trade Union Congress, um, made their uh, issues known to the media and to ensure that the uh, various media outlets um, carry uh, these messages out for government to understand that um, the company um, is not uh, building uh, mm. whatever it takes for the company to do the need for. Um, that is done. So there wasn't any official of the National Assembly to, to receive the, any petition. And what I'm also hearing from the um, company's end that the, the issue they released last week, um, taking their position that the company isn't against unionization, but then they would want the right procedures and channels to be um, used to ensure that if these workers would want to join um, Ghana Mine Workers Union, um, that is done, but then not to be coerced for their um, work in the, in the, in the release, mm. not to be coerced into some of these um, unions. What next after today's protest? What are they going to do? Okay, so they describe this as um, the first step. They would, um, members of the know would ensure that um, their next line of action will be taken. And then they wouldn't even mind um, bringing all the unions under the uh, mother union, which are over 20 unions under the mother union, much um, in Accra to the Jubilee House to, to make sure that um, piece of government Thank you. Uh, Kwame Yankathe, a reporter who covered the protests this morning of uh, the Trade Union Congress, protested the dismissal of three uh, workers of Sunan Asogli over uh, what is a unionization tassel we have been covering for weeks now. Uh, we will continue following that story for you, bring you updates when there are new developments. Now to other stories. The network of communication reporters is calling on the National Communications Authority to completely remove all telco agents from the ongoing SIM registration process to prevent any more incidents of fraudulent SIM, fraudulent SIM registration. In a statement, the group explained that some unscrupulous telco agents had circumvented the process leading to many incidents of fraudulent SIM registration and putting telcos at the risk of being sanctioned. Joining us is a spokesperson of the group, uh, Samuel Dowuna, to uh, talk a bit more about this petition to the National Communications Authority. So, uh, good afternoon to you, Samuel. How are these telco agents circumventing the registration process? You're muted. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay, great. So, so yes, so um, the, the issue is very simple. Um, you know that uh, uh, the first stage of the SIM registration is that me personally I have to be in a house then link my card, my SIM card to my uh, Ghana card via star 404 hash. And when I do the linking, my details then go to NI, which is National Identification Authority. Then they send me a code to confirm that I am the owner of that card. Yeah. With the card. Now, when, when I go to the agent, so, so of course, you, I mean, you have a choice. You can go to an agent or go to the telco. You know, when we used to just go to the telcos, there were long queues. So then NCA brought in the agents. So when I go to an agent, I need to show the agent that code that I received from NIE. Then those agents copy that code. Then when, after they finish the process for me, when they have done my body and everything for me, then they begin to use that code to then link to other people's SIM cards without my consent as the owner of the Ghana card from which that code was generated. That's number one. Number two, you know, when this SIM registration started, the the and NCA insisted that we the, the the telcos need to use the app. There's an app that the telcos use to do our bio capture. A lot of these agents that when they were brought on didn't have smartphones, so they were using they were using still using uh, uh, what do you call it uh, feature phones, what we call YAM phones. So the telcos then pleaded with the NCA. Please listen to this carefully. The telcos then pleaded with the NCA to allow those agents to use the old system of registering SIM cards. So when somebody goes to them to register a new SIM card, they use the old system of SIM registration to then register the person and activate the number before then they tell that uh, uh, um, that SIM owner to go and do the, the, the current process. But then instead of doing that, they don't let the people go and do the, the, the go through the current process. Then they link other people's Ghana cards to the same that has been registered with the old system. 
Okay, so that's why we are having so many problems of people having uh, uh, they have they have gun account linked to six six cars, seven cars, all the way some some even all the way up to eighteen cars. So this whole fraudulent scheme register is going on. It is nobody else but the agents. Because that's to me, check with anybody who went to the telco uh, uh, customer service station to go and do their SIM registration and check if whether you find any cars linked to them. It is those who went to the agents. That's who, not that's where the does that not put, yeah, does Please, that not put into question this uh, SIM re-registration exercise, which was touted as effective in tackling SIM fraud? Who do we blame for this fiasco? Yeah, so, 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 so what has happened is that, so initially, we, our thinking was that our Ghana cards have been compromised. But no, it is the code that NIA sends us which has been compromised. So what NCA is saying now is that that's stage one, where we do the linking to our our Ghana cards by ourselves is going to be totally eliminated. Okay, to be totally eliminated, and then we are going to be using the app. But at N at NCR, what we are saying is, even if you 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 take away the the stage one where the the, the code that is generated is being abused by the agents, what is the guarantee that the stage two, what we call stage two, which is the app alone, if you are using that one alone, what is the guarantee that that one too will not be abused by agents because no security system in this world is foolproof. So our 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 thing is that it can that one too can be breached. So we are saying that the only way to eliminate this whole problem is to remove the agents completely from the system. And and and, the, and one other reason why we are insisting on that is that you know in at the, on the thirty first of May, NCA is about to delete delete 11, 11 million SIM cards. Now it is because of all these people that have not registered that needed to beat deadlines. That's why we brought the agents on. So if you are not going to delete all those ones, then we, we don't need any deadline anymore, number one. Then we don't need the agents. We really don't need the agents because the agents are causing us problems. And whatever, whatever wrong an agent does, it is going to go against the telco because the telco will be the one to be sanctioned. So if the telco still want the agents to be there for them to do wrong things, for, their, for them, do the telcos to be sanctioned, then, then they should keep them there. But to our minds, that, that we should remove the agents so that we, 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 we prevent uh, fraudulent similar situation. And we also prevent the telcos being sanctioned. But does that entirely uh, solve the problem? Uh, you talk of, of, of a robust security system. Isn't that what we should be looking at right now? If you take the telco agents out, are you sure we are not going to have uh, this problem persist? So, uh, okay, so, 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 so Daryl, so when you take the, the, the agents out, so now the only group of people that we now know are doing similar registration are the telco staff. In other words, are the telco offices themselves. So then when there is a breach, you know exactly where to look, look at. You, you don't have any business, but I mean, so, so you are limiting the scope to only a telco staff. So you don't have any business looking for which agent or which agent. It is a telco staff. You just go and deal with that. And you see, the reason is that the, the, the thing is that they are not able to breach the state two. They are not able to breach the state two yet. So the central SIM register has not been breached yet. So we are still on course to, to as it were, build a, a, a very solid SIM, uh, I mean, SIM register. But then if we don't take care, and then the, 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 the app is also breached. Once the app is breached, then it means now we are going to now move on bad things into the same register. Then that is where we rather have a, 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 a less robust same, same register. So the deletion that is going to happen on the on the 31st of, 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 of uh, May, it should mm. go along with removing all the agents. Then we'll be on our way. And you know, NCR has also said that we are going to do an audit of all the same registers of the various levels. When that audit is done, we are sure that they, they, we are praying that the telcos will cooperate with the, with the NC, NCA to do this audit. Then we'll be on our way to build a, a global SIM register. But the first thing to do is to clear the, the source of the problem, which is the agents. They must be removed completely. Has the NCA responded yet to your, your statement? No, I'm not, not as yet. So um, we are arranging to have a meeting with the NCA. I, I'm, 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 well, the regulator, it is not their style to then come out and come and respond to a request that has been made by someone. So we, we, are, we are hoping that if that meeting comes on, then we are going to listen to them and hear what they will say. I've heard people say that when you, when you eliminate the, the agent, what is going to happen is that when, when now 11 million cars are de uh, deactivated, then there will be long queues because all these 11 million people will go into the park. Listen, a lot of the 11 million people claim that they don't have Ghana cars. So first of all, those people will not be going to queue at telcos. Because without your Ghana card, you can't even go to the telco and queue. So you why you, why you should be going to queue as NIA. So if you claim you really, if you are if you are really, 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 really insisting that you don't have Ghana card, and a majority of you say you don't have a Ghana card, then go to NIA. So that, I don't think there will be queues. 
even if the agents are removed, I don't think they'll be killed at the airport because out of the 11 million, just a few of them will rather maybe have 10 and they'll be going to kill them. So really, we are going to sit there and listen to the NCA. I mean, God willing, if before 31st of May, we are hoping that the meeting will come and then we'll hear them and see what they will say. But otherwise, we think that these agents will just be removed from this whole process. Well, just by, just by way of education for our audience watching right now, how they can check if their uh, numbers have been linked to other contacts. Oh, oh, so, the, so, so the code is uh, very simple. It is star 402 star 1 hash. Star 402 star 1 hash. As a matter of fact, even if you try star 402 star 2 hash, that one to work. But, the, but the, the, the official code is star 401 star 1 hash. And then, of course, to ask you to for your Ghana card. Make sure that as you're entering your Ghana card, enter, we include the, the high fees in there. There are some high fees in there. A lot of people do without the high fees. Do the high fees and then they'll ask you for your date of birth. And when you find any fraudulent number on your, on, your, on your Ghana card, please don't go to an agent to help you to delete. Go to your to the particular telco, their, their customer service office. Don't go to an agent because the agents are the ones breaching the system. So if you go to an agent, there's no guarantee that they are going to help you. To, to, to solve this problem. So go to your, 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 your telco or the telco which, whose number you find for you to be delayed so that all of us can help to, to, to clean the, the register. And now let me say this in closing, that we think that the NCA should also come up with a, 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 a real-time verification system where if any card is about to be linked to my card, me, some of the owner or Daryl Powell's card, you should get a prompt on your phone to then say accept or reject. You understand? Just like any any of the various platforms where, where like you are WhatsApp or anywhere. So until you accept, they should not go ahead and link the car to your Ghana card. It's as simple as that. I think that one is a more, more, more of a preventive measure than to wait for the system, my car to be breached before yeah. you say I should go and do 402 to check. All That's right. what we think. Thank you for spearheading this as spokesperson for the network of communication reporters. Uh, Samuel Dowuna, I appreciate your time uh, this afternoon. Now, uh, to other news, uh, consistent neglect by Parliament to swiftly take action on the Public Accounts Committee reports is a reason for the non-application of disallowance and surcharge by the Auditor General. This is according to the Minister of National Security, Albert Kandapa. Speaking at the 19th Strategic Review and Government Board meeting, he called on the leaders of Parliament to be proactive in addressing issues presented to the floor by the Public Accounts Committee for discussion. This, he believes, will help the operations of the Auditor General in disallowance and surcharge. Efficiencies in the operationalization of the cycle of public accountability discussed earlier, particularly regarding delays by the leadership of Parliament to swiftly act on the report of the Public Accounts Committee, has served as a major reason for the non-application of disallowance and surcharge by the Auditor General. Because the truth of the matter is that most times, we've had beautiful reports from the Auditor General. We've discussed it in Parliament. But after the Public Accounts Committee would have uh, deliberated upon it, it needs to come back to the plenary and get the House to adopt it through some excellent political uh, mechanics. These reports from the Public Accounts Committee never get tabled for the plenary to adopt it and for necessary actions to be taken. So I can understand why people are furious, why people think, no, 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 take away Parliament and let's go ahead with this um, disqualify and surcharge. Now, Textiles Ghana Limited, producers of Blisco and GTP Fabrics, has launched a new collection in addition to its wide range of designs. According to Managing Director of Blisco Ghana, Marianne Boatin, her firm is committed to creating quality and affordable fabrics to suit the demands in the market. She was speaking at the launch of the new collection. Textiles Ghana Limited launched a new collection to provide customers with a wide variety of designs to choose from. The new collection includes different designs and comes in different colors. In an interview with Joy Business Marketing Director of Vlixco, Marianne Boaten said the new collection comes at an affordable price to customers. Vlixco is premium, very premium. We understand that people want to look good, want to feel confident, want to feel elegant. And 
it's expensive. However, what we have done is we've listened to our consumers over the years and we provided smaller yardages. So two yards, four yards, six yards, and then 12 yards. So you don't need to buy the whole piece. You can buy two yards and combine. You can buy four yards and you can buy six yards. So it suits different pockets. So these designs, you'll find them anywhere. So after this, and it's very limited quantity. So after this, you won't find them anywhere at all. They were actually made with the mother in, in mind. African mother especially because we know there are certain designs that are appealing to mothers. Most of our designs are bold and intricate anyway, but this one was specially made and inspired with mothers in mind. A customer, Deborah Bonne, commended Blisco for always providing the best fabrics to its customers. Well, I have been using Blisco for some time now. I love the feel, I love the texture, the color, the design. They are unique. That's why I come for Blisco. You can use Blisco for so many years. You wash it with different detergents, but you still have the color, you still have the feel, you still have the texture. That's why I love Blisco. And when you wear Blisco, it feels differently on your skin. So um, it's a very good brand, and I encourage everybody who is around who hasn't used Blisco before should try and see, and they will never be disappointed. That's our program this afternoon. More news uh, on our website, myjoinline.com forward slash business. Uh, CD to end 2023 at 12.40 CDs to a dollar. Uh, fit solutions. Uh, you can read more about that on our website, myjoinline.com forward slash business. Thanks for watching. We'll be back same time tomorrow.